All right. All right, boys. Where we headed? Where we headed? Where we headed? Where we headed? This is 1300K. 4090. You know the vibes, baby. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Oh, I got to get to my benchmark spot. I got to get to my benchmark spot. But as you see, and this is on a four dim board, guys. This is on a four dim Z790 board with 7,200 megahertz of RAM, but we tuned the RAM um, a bit. So, man, I'm, I'm <sighs> listen, <laughs> this thing was basically, it felt like I was battling a giant. Um, doing timings on just a four dim motherboard. Uh, it was, I did it because it needed to be done because we were going to have somebody, I believe we have somebody today with a four dim uh, Z790 motherboard. Um, so we had to be like ready anyway. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just pull all nighter, like risk some sleep right here and there and just get this thing over with here. So this... <laughs> This is the results here. So, mind you, this is a four dim motherboard. Uh, the two dim motherboard I have literally arriving, I believe, today. So, that one should be good. And I already have, like, timings and everything for that one. That, that one's pretty easy to tune. Um, and, yeah. So, I could just show you guys just the 0.1% lows, the, the averages and everything like that. Um, as you can see here, it is, I mean, like, what else could we say here? What could we complain about? What could we honestly complain about? Nothing. You can't complain. That's the point. You can't. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of stunned. As you could see, we're using... Uh, oh, no, you can't see. But if you saw my leak video, we're using, like, the new fans here. Because I, I just wanted this year, guys, to be about just the most performance possible, right? Uh, so we're using the new uh t30 fans uh it's not gonna be like rgb blah 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 but man i am telling you if i would have probably lost my mind if i didn't install these uh, i'm gonna be honest these saved my life uh in regards to just overclocking in general because <laughs> let me tell you guys this 1300k right here this bad boy right here you're seeing 60 on the screen 59 on the screen like that took a lot. <laughs> that, that, that honestly took a lot. Um, under load, this thing can get hot. And I mean extremely hot. Let's test 1440p now for you guys. We're just rambling all like as, a, as you guys see me do the benchmark. Um, but basically, yeah, um, this thing got way hotter than I thought. So let me fill you guys in with some things. The 13900K got way hotter than I thought. Uh, this, if you don't have a 360 AIO, if you don't have like a large like case to like prevent like your GPU, if you don't have your GPU fans blasting, um, push, pull something to help this thing, then don't expect everything out of like your 1300K. Um, no matter what anybody tells you, the, the limit for us that we've hit on the 1300K, and this is why we, it took so long, guys, because there's so much boundaries that you have to, like, respect for these CPUs. That's why I love doing this, right? Because uh, you just don't know. Uh, the boundaries that we had to basically maintain and respect was in regards to the cooling. Um, so as you can see, now the GPU is at 42 degrees Celsius. We have no problems with our GPU, no problems with our CPU cooling. C CPU cooling is at 50, I mean 60 degrees at 300 FPS. GPU is at 42 degrees at 300 FPS, um, 320 FPS, 350 FPS. Like you're chilling. You are, you're living a life here. Uh, so as we can tell, let's do some benchmarks here. So this is the 1300K. It's 7,200 megahertz of RAM. And I believe, let me let me do this. Uh, this was 1080p. Boom. 
And as you guys can see, I've been doing a lot of work. If you see the left side here, I have not been playing games, guys. I We have been going, me and my team, have, we've been going like all out for you guys. And I'm really excited this year because guess what? Well, I can't tell you guys that yet, but it really doesn't matter what you get. We can make that thing work. Uh, let me just say that. Uh, we can make it work. Trust me. Uh, 300 FPS for everybody this year. But as you guys can see, I'm not sure if this is like due to unlimited or something like that. But as you guys can see, uh, it's getting around 297 averages on... <laughs> it's getting 297 averages... Um, 300 FPS average on 1080p, about 300 FPS average on 1440p, 0.1% FPS. Look at that bad boy right there. Do you guys see that? What does that say? 207.8. Uh, so your lowest FPS, you're telling me your lowest FPS is going to be 200, 205. 210 and mind you i'm not even done with this board yet guys this is just like this is the first time i was able to enjoy the game get it like perfectly stable and stuff like that so it has a tad little room to go on a four dim board i see people getting this kind of zero point well yeah this kind of 0.1 percent on a two dim board so imagine um for, and i'm going to show you guys the benchmarks i have all the records, guys. We got all the... Re you want to know anything? Uh, don't miss my next stream. We got the receipts. Trust me. Um, if this is happening on a D Z790 for dim motherboard, then I am scared. I'm honestly scared when that Evga Kingpin arrives at my door. I'm scared, guys. This right here... Is dangerous. I think I had a 0.2% me metrics. So let me try to compare it, if I have it, to a 5950, I mean a 7950X for you guys. Um, because you that that's what you guys are wondering. So let me actually do this. I'm going to benchmark the 7950X again. Um, and then we're gonna compare it to this. This is of course like just a first day kind of like thing this is the first day 1300k um ram tuning overclocking and from sense quality and i legitimately think like this i mean just look at the zero point like one percent zero point two percent it's like we're absolutely destroying um on this thing on a four dim motherboard uh what my assumptions are is that once we get the two dim motherboard once i get that in my hand i could probably take it up to eight thousand eighty eighty three something like that eighty three hundred megahertz Something like that, and then this 0.1% um, or 0.2% are going to just skyrocket all the way up, as um, including just the averages in total. Uh, so basically, just wait on that, guys. Uh, this was just like a short ramble because i just been going all night, guys. I I've been going all day, all night, uh, t basically, to get this out for you guys because I know you guys are waiting. Um, we got the receipts, guys. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. We're going to have a stream tonight. Uh, I'm going to enjoy, like, just basically um, comparing these two, like, uh, PCs together. 7950X versus 1300K. Um, like, DDR4 versus, like, DDR5 on a 7090. Um, two DIM versus four DIM. We're going to have all the answers. E-cores on versus E-cores off. Um, renders. Uh, we, we have all the answers, guys. Um, so yeah, uh, look out for the FPS demon soon. We should be launching that today or tomorrow. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But other than that, guys, you have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you for listening to my, uh, endless rant about random memory tuning. <laughs>